Hello Tingle Monsters! How are you? Today we are going to have another Hebrew lesson and in today's menu you are going to find a Hebrew word that doesn't exist in English. Let's start over with the first word. It's a very short word and it's called Nu. Nu. The word nu is translated to hurry up already or come on, let's go. As you can see, you can find the meaning, but you will have to describe it with a lot of words. The next word is the word that describes the first rain. The first rain in Hebrew named yore. Yore. The next word is the word to describe the last rain. The rain in the end of the season is Malkosh. Yore ve Malkosh. You can find uh, words in English that describes or categorize rain by its intensity. Like you can have shower, drizzle, downpour and sprinkle but you can find words that describe rain by its timing only in Hebrew the next word is avutkan a man with a very thick beard the next word is boser or boser boser is unripe fruit a fruit that hasn't matured yet in English you can use the word where for any type of clothing, while the Hebrew verb varies by the item of the clothing. Ligrov is to wear socks. Ligrov is the verb that comes from Gerev. Gerev is a sock. Lachvosh. 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 Lachvosh is to wear a hat. In all, the verb in all comes from the word Na'al. Na'al is a shoe. Na'alaim are shoes. Lachgo. The verb lachgo comes from the word chagora. Chagora is belt. Words that describe picking fruits in Hebrew depend on the fruits type. The harvest of olives named masik. Masik. The harvest of grapes called batsil, batsil. The harvest of dates called gadid, gadid. The harvest of figs called aria. The next word is titchadesh, titchadesh. This word is translated to be new, if it makes sense. It's used when someone purchases something new for clothing or any item and you basically want to say enjoy, enjoy your new thing. Titchadesh. The word stam, stam, stam can be used in several ways. It can be used for just because or no reason or just kidding it is for when something isn't important another great word in hebrew that doesn't exist in english and it's the last one for today is tachles 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 can be translated as in practical terms or in reality or in point of fact to the point or bottom line. Now, Tachlis, this video was shorter today, but I didn't want to disappoint my Hebrew seekers, Tingle Monsters. So, have a good night or good day wherever you are right now. And I hope this was useful. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye. Onomatopoeia.